Hey yo, what is up FPG fam? Further here and welcome back to another Aether Gazer video. Today's video we're going to be showcasing Double S Hades. I'm actually really excited for this one. We're going to be showcasing her, but I also wanted to showcase how you can stay in that optimal range of 40 to 60 Divine Grace, that sweet spot if you're using the red Aether code. I got a lot of questions about that, so I thought it'd be beneficial to show you that, give you some insight. And then hopefully when you play your Hades and you're using the red Aether code, you're a master at staying in between that 40 and 60 Divine Grace. So we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. But before we do, I want to give a massive shout out to all of you that checked out my last video and provided such kind words and support. Really does mean the world to me. I do truly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Also, a really quick shout out to my sponsor, Gamersubs. They have fantastic products. If you want to support the channel a little further beyond, you could use my code FURTHERBEYONDGAMING at checkout to get 10% off everything in the store. They have amazing flavors, amazing energy, all organic. They have amazing shirts, clothing, the best feeling clothing in the game. And they also have amazing designed waifu cups. So go ahead and check them out if you want to. And if you do get anything, Make sure to use my code. Once again, supports myself, supports the channel so we can do bigger and better things. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the support. With that being said, uh, let's jump straight into it. So we have Double S Hades. Um, the stats are remaining the same. We haven't really changed the stats at all in terms of when I last showcase my Hades in terms of the build. Just because I haven't had the opportunity to mid-max because we've been working on Oneiroi. Which, if you didn't see my Oneiroi video, go ahead and check it out. I'll leave a link at the end of this one. Um, I just do a full breakdown so that way you have a better understanding of how to use her properly. And the things that I'm running on her skills are going to be all maxed out once again. And the access key signature functor that we have here. Sigils are going to be the recommended as Sharon's Obel, Dark Plague. Here are the skill effects. Once again, everything's remaining the same. Now, what's really important is the red Aether Code. So with the red Aether Code, you're going to be increasing damage dealt by 12% when mod has at least 25, but no more than 75 Divine Grace. Uh, but what we're really focused on is the bottom one where you're going to increase attack by 24%, shadow damage by 24%, and skill damage by 24% when mod has at least 40, but no more than 60 divine grace that is the true sweet spot that you want to be in between and then the second one grants the next mark that you get one and a half seconds more quickly if the mod has at least 30 but no more than 70 divine grace so that's why the 40 to 60 is the sweet spot because you're going to be getting the benefits of the first and the second aether code which is going to be extremely beneficial so let's go ahead and let's showcase how you can be in between that sweet spot all right guys so i went into training mode i thought this would be the best way to showcase how you can be in that sweet spot so right now you see we have 50 divine grace and you see we have four of those marks and then you can see the two symbols you have on the left loose and then on the right mintha that's really important to how you're going to want to play hades so when you start battle you're always going to start with mintha the one on the right now in order to manipulate the puppets you're going to be using skill one and then based off of which puppet you're manipulating is going to determine how you manipulate your divine grace so mintha which is going to be on the right increases your divine grace loose which is on the left is going to reduce your divine grace so having a good understanding of that while you're in battle is going to allow you to manipulate the divine grace and to be able to stay in the sweet spot the best so as a prime example right now we are mintha right and you can see we're manipulating both at the moment but you can tell which one you're manipulating uh by the skills that you have so the skills that you see right now are mintha skills and then if we switch, these are Luce's skills. So if we go ahead and attack right now and we do Luce's skill, you're going to see that we're going to reduce the Divine Grace. You see it going down. If we use skill 3, Divine Grace is going down right right now. If we switch, now we're Mintha. And if we go ahead and use the skill, we're going to go ahead and gain Divine Grace. If we do it again, we go ahead and gain some more Divine Grace. Let's go ahead and do it again. And let's go ahead and do it again. And you see we're gaining Divine Grace right there. So if you want to go ahead and be in that sweet spot of 40 and 60, as you can tell, we're at 66 right now. So we're outside of that sweet spot. So I'm going to switch to loose and I'm going to go ahead and do the skills. And you can see when we switch to loose and we do loose's skill, we're manipulating only loose. And so that way we're reducing the divine grace, as you can tell by the symbol. And you can tell the divine grace is going down. And as the divine grace starts to go down, we're about to be out of the sweet spot a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to mintha. To get that divine grace back up a little bit 
And you have to keep in mind that you increase and decrease your divine grace as well with your basic and normal attacks. So you're going to be attacking with both loose and mental while you're doing your attacks. So you're going to be gaining and losing divine grace while you're doing normal attacks. As you can see, we're a little too high. So we're going to go ahead and bring it down. We're going to go ahead and bring it down some more. And I'm just going to show you a normal fight right here. We're getting a little too high. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it down a little bit more. Get a little too high. Bring it down a little bit more. And then we have four marks. And what you want to do is you want to make sure before you go into berserk mode with your four marks that you're in between that sweet spot. So in between the sweet spot, I got menthon. So I'm going to switch to loose. Go ahead and bring it down. Go ahead and bring it down some more. And this is what you're going to be focusing on in the flow of battle. This is what makes uh, Hades just a little more technical because as you can see, we're outside of the sweet spot. So I'm going to go ahead and gain some more. So I got Mentha on and we're going to go ahead and just gain some more Divine Grace here. Now we're getting a little too high. So I'm going to switch to loose and you can have this pre ready to go. So if you know you're going to be getting a little too high up there, go ahead and switch preemptively and be proactive about it. Switch early. See, we're getting a little too high, so we're going to go ahead and do that again. We got four marks, so let's go ahead and do the Berserk, and we're in between 40 and 60. So what you have to keep in mind, there's a lot going on, so that's why she's a little more difficult to use because you're going to be focusing on your Divine Grace. You're going to be also focusing on what puppet or uh, which puppet you're manipulating, I should say, whether it's Loose and Mintha at the time, depending on which uh, skill one you manipulated to. And then you're going to be looking at your marks as well. And you're also looking at the enemy. So there's a lot going on that you have to be aware of while you're playing Hades. But to me, that's what leads her to be such a fun modifier. Usually when you have a very strong OP modifier, the Onga Bunga, you just press buttons and go. With Hades, it's a little more technicality. There's a little more finesse and skill that's involved. And that makes her a lot more fun to play than just an OP, you know, brain dead modifier to use so I, I think that's incredible now another thing that i did want to go ahead and mention as well um is that if you're using hades just by herself meaning you don't have oneroy um paired with her for the ultimate skill chain then you can use her ultimate so as you can see we're a little too high so i can use the ultimate it's going to bring your divine grace back down to 50 for you automatically and then you can go right into the berserk and you're right in that sweet spot but if you're using oneroy with her for the ultimate skill chain you don't have that benefit of the divine grace getting reset to 50 so Keep that in mind. If you're using Drowsy with Hades, you have to be a little more cognizant of where your Divine Grace is um, when you're ulting because you're not going to reduce it back down. You're just going to get all the other benefits that's associated with it. So anyways, I hope that was helpful. Hopefully that wasn't too convoluted. Let's go ahead and jump into some real gameplay um, where I can showcase her off with Drowsy and with Hera and see what kind of nonsense we can get into. All right, so Hazard Zone Cleaning just reset, so we're going to go ahead and hop into that. I know I showcase Hazard Zone Cleaning all the time. It's just the easiest for me to hop into at the highest difficulty to showcase. I mean, maybe I'll showcase like Past Grudge in another video or Reoccurring Dream. The only thing is, is Reoccurring Dream hasn't changed yet, so, and I didn't have the right team. Uh, but essentially, what I'm going to go ahead and do is start with Hades, obviously, do the skill 2, skill 3. So we can get to that sweet spot as quickly as possible. That's going to be one of your main objectives. I thought I'd dodge that. Is to get there as quickly as we possibly can. Um, so now that I'm there technically, I'm going to go ahead and do one more. And now I'm going to switch to loose because at this point, um, you're going to be gaining more divine grace than you're going to be losing. You lose, if I'm not mistaken, you lose one, but you gain three when you're doing, doing your normal attacks and your basic attacks. I'm getting hit a lot because my dodge is not working for some reason. Um, I'm out of that sweet spot, so I'm going to go ahead and do my skills. We got a bit of a bit of a lag going because the phone is hot. That's the only unfortunate part about the phone is that it gets extremely hot. I'm trying to get my my divine grace down here. I'm gonna go ahead and do hair result. Okay. Um, I got to do the skills again. I'm gonna go ahead and do the ult with Oneroy. Yeah, the lag is real. <laughs> the lag is real. That's unfortunate. Um, okay, so now we're in the sweet spot. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is because we're in the sweet spot, I'm going to go ahead and do my berserk mode and just get as much benefits from it as I possibly can. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to loose. And let's see if we can get that divine grace back down. And that's essentially how you're going to be wanting to use her is just micro oh, micromanaging just like that. And what's really, really awesome, I mentioned this in my Drowsy video, is that we're able to ult so often with this combo. 
Uh, it's very, very good because ulting with Drowsy in this ultimate skill chain with Hades, that damage boost that you're getting is really nice. Um, you're resetting your resources as well. It's just all very good things for not only Hades and Odeiroy, but for Hera as well. And then the the benefits of that damage boost, right? So we're going to go ahead and boost right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the skill. I'm going to do the skill. I could Berserk right now, but I just don't think it's necessary. Rather, I'm going to go ahead and ult now. And once again, don't be afraid to ult when you have this combo because you, you get it so often. Um, so don't don't be afraid to ult. Going to go ahead and do that because we're getting out of the sweet spot. Go ahead and do the skill three. Stay back in the sweet. All right, I'm going to... Oh, no, I was going to I was gonna do it while I had the sweet spot. But as you can see, I'm right outside of the sweet spot. So that was a bit unfortunate. Um, I got to switch back to loose. We got to get that. We got to get the divine grace back down. Now, in this situation, I'm going to hold off on the ult. Just because these guys are about done. And we can use the, the ult for, for the boss. I think we're going to be doing the boss now. No? Oh, we got we got a a boss. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to go ahead and do everything here. We got a, it's like a pseudo boss. We got a, like an elite. Where am I at on the Divine Grace? I'm going to go ahead and do it. We're right at 60. And you can just see, you can see the damage. There we go. So we hit modified mode. Um, the only unfortunate part is that we don't have, we do not have the berserk mode. We don't have really no ults here. So that's the only unfortunate part. That's okay. Um, let's go ahead and ult here. We're going to go ahead and do that now. Do an ult. And let's go ahead and go berserk on him. In modified mode, this should actually kill him. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that should actually kill him. Okay, that one's dead. Beautiful. Uh, we have hair result we're going to go ahead and do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And let's see. I'm going to go ahead and ult. Let me go ahead and ult now. All right, we got the ult off. Beautiful, modified mode. Uh, we do need to get, hold on, I got to switch. All right, we're in that sweet spot, so now we can go off. You see how I had to switch there to get the, uh, get the Divine Grace where we needed it? So I'm going to switch back to lose. And we got to get Divine Grace down just a little bit. I can't see. All right. Bring the Divine Grace down a little bit more. Bring it down a little bit more. Let's go ahead and ult again. This should do some decent damage. Beautiful. Okay, we got the four marks, so we're going to go in right now. Hera should be getting that ult here soon. Hera got the ult, so let's go ahead and ult with Hera while we can. Let's bring the... Divine Grace back down. Ah, that was a big slam. <laughs> that was a big slam. All right, do we have another boss? No, that was it. Okay. We'll check a, take a look at the uh, damage numbers. But yeah, that's essentially it. Um, didn't perform as well as I wanted to with Hades. Just because I'm still getting used to the phone. Um, but still not bad. 66 mil, right? And then what did, what did Oneroy do? 8 mil? Yeah. So not bad. And then Hera, you know, contributing as well. But anyways, guys, I do hope you enjoyed today's video. Once again, thank you so much for all the support. I appreciate it. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. My name is Cody. You call me further. I'll see you all next one. Bye, guys.